Hey everybody, welcome back to Target Forge. Hey, I've got a part two to our series on the adapter that Orion the Iguana Hunter sells for the side shot platform and the Hawkeye camera. I've found some stuff that really helped me get much better quality images out of that system. And I wanted to share these two. So consider this like part two of that video that I released just a few days ago. And uh, let's go take a look at what I'm talking about. So one of the things that I found myself frustrated with early on was the fact that with the cover on this case, you can't, you can't get to the touch screen on the camera. So every time you want to mess around with the settings on this, you had to open this up, do whatever, and then close it back up in order to get the right camera alignment again, because the camera's not going to line up correctly unless it's actually registered in the housing. So here's what we did. I started looking around and actually Orion got back to me when he saw the video and he said, hey, you know, they sell a GoPro 3 case uh, that you can get with that's skeletonized already. So it already has this opening and it has this cut out in the back so that you can get it at the touchscreen. And I thought, well, I've got old GoPros kicking around. Maybe um, maybe I've already got one of those back doors. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if the GoPro back doors worked on these cases? Well, guess what? Pop the original case off. Take your GoPro back door, snap it in place, throw your camera in, close it up, and you've got the ability to access your camera settings. Oh, it's already coming on, just start filming. That's the quick, quick start coming in. But this allows you to get to the screen you can use it to touch and touch and start the uh, the recording process or not, and uh, get to all the functions, which I thought that was a huge help. So that was the first tip that I've learned in the last couple of days. The next thing I did, let's take this camera out of here. I got rid of the flathead screws that were inside here. I uh, I counterbored these holes and put in regular socket cap 440 screws because the issue I was having was there was uh, an angular component to this housing meeting up with this mount because of the flathead screws interfering um, down in here. They were, they were a little bit too large in diameter. So by getting rid of that extra diameter and getting rid of them trying to force themselves into the middle of the hole, I was able to get this to relax and get the alignment between the camera housing and the optical line of the side shot much better. And as a result, my image quality jumped up quite a bit. And I'll show you that in a second. The other thing that I did was this little ring right here. Uh, this probably solved me more problems than any other single thing that I did. Um, I went and measured the outer diameter, or actually the ID of this relief in the side shot. And then I measured the end bell on my scope and found out that I had about this much free play on the end of a side shot. So it was able to, to kind of move around a little bit and create misalignment between the optical center. And by just having this ring, which is just 3D printed, I. I catted this up and had it printed in a day on Zometry, and I'll put the link down in the description. But you can make one of these if you have a 3D printer, or you can if you can draw one or have a friend that can draw one, you can get one. This was 13 bucks delivered the next day um, to my house here in the Bay Area. You, your access to this is going to vary on time and price, but um, anyway, it's just a cheap 3D printing of this adapter to keep the side shot aligned with my scope. And I'm telling you, this makes it fantastic. Uh, you can just pop this on, it lines right up the first time, and it gets all of the guesswork out of the alignment issue done. I am really happy with how it turned out. I'm really happy with this whole solution. I'm really happy with uh, Orion's bracket and the side shot and the camera all working together now the way they should. And also really happy with this door being able to 
get to the controls on the camera without opening the case. But anyway, I'll show you the latest images and uh, I'll close this out. It's a real short video today. I just wanted to show you uh, that I, have, I was able to take this up a level and improve the image quality substantially. Wanted to take a real quick look at the scope adapter ring between the side shot and the turret on my Element Titan and show you how well this works. When it goes on, it just slips right on that taper on the back of the scope and it forces that alignment really, really well. And then uh, when you clamp down on these screws, it's not going anywhere. And that image looks fantastic. So have a great day. Be a light in the darkness. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye.